Hi everyone, I am Mohit and I am presenting a series called Dreams Never Die and today we have a very special person who designs chocolates in more than 500 themes. She has got 100 plus flavors in, in her chocolates and she does it very innovatively. She is Smriti Bhatia. She, al she is also an author. She has written a book called The Chocolate Alphabet A to Z. So you can know a lot of things about chocolates by reading her book and we'll, we'll speak to her in a very short while. Welcome Smriti to the show Dreams Never Die. Thank you Mohit. Smriti, we want to know aap kya karte hai, what's your profession and uh, who you are today. Okay. Um, so I am a chocolate uh, entrepreneur, a chocolate artisan um, and I'm doing this for 2000, since 2010. I have been in IT for 13 years. Oh. Um, so I had never imagined that I would really do all this. But um, I think it's, it was my passion with dark chocolates um, and then I took it as a hobby. Okay. And one fine day I decided to convert it into a profession. Okay. I did my job and this um, chocolate work together for almost okay. seven years. Okay. And then I decided to quit. Um, and now you are full time into this? I am full time profession. into this now. Okay. So I am enjoying this thoroughly. I take a lot of chocolate making classes. Okay. Uh, I keep them very different from you know what you will find in the market. Uh, where uh, we do a lot of interaction, uh, people get to make chocolates more than I would be making them in the class. What have you achieved so far? Kuch special have achieved your life during this journey? Uh, yes, I would say something very recent. Um, in March, okay. I uh, won a medal in chocolate making competition. Oh. Uh, in Aha, I think everybody's heard about Aha. Aha is a well known uh, yes. exhibition. Yes. In, in our country. Yes, they do it every year. Um, so I thought of participating in that this time. And thankfully, I would say with God's grace, I got a medal there. Okay, the congratulations. Thank you so much. Yes. So that was like a very recent achievement that I can talk about. One thing, uh, when did you consider yourself successful? I think that is what I believe though. But uh, typically people should not really feel that you know you become successful today. Because I think for me success is a journey. It is not uh, something that you achieve something today and you are done with it. So. Uh, but eight point to I say, I am not good at all. I am successful. I think in life, me, multiple points are there. Where people think that if you get a medal, then it's good. Ah. Uh, you know, job, if you get a good job, then it's good. Oh, yeah. Then you decide to do something. Then it's good. I think life has many such points are there. When you feel that it's good, it's good. So. अच्छा आपने यू नो यू स्टार्टेड दिस जर्नी लॉन्ग विद योर जॉब कुछ भी रीजन हो आई जस्ट वांट टू नो व्हाट मोटिवेटेड यू टू डू ऑल दिस व्हाई चॉकलेट मी आम चॉकलेट्स बचपन से मेरा पैशन है सो आम आई हैव बिलीव्ड इन समथिंग जो मुझे चॉकलेट्स रेगुलर दिखाते हैं ओके सो दैट इज बीइंग द रीजन आई as a hobby you started doing it? Hobby is an identity class because I've been very fond of cooking from since my childhood. So I thought, I'm so shocked that I'm going to make it. I just attended one class. After that, believe me, I have not attended any class, any course, any workshop on chocolates. It's all either in the mind, whatever ideas I have, or it is, you know, reading around what other people are doing, internet, just searching for information, what are people doing, what are ideas you can implement. And my my own innovations, of course, yes. So a combination of everything that I know. I can't even imagine. Yes, I've been working on. You learn off your own. You are so passionate that you start studying about it, and you are making chocolates. I think I have tasted your chocolates. One of the finest brands in India, even that brand can't develop this kind of taste. Thank you for that compliment. But yes, I'm trying really hard to you know keep up with all the new new things that I can implement. Like I said, designs and themes being the focus area. Designs and, and uh, themes. Themes. So okay. basically, for example, if you have an occasion, uh, say a birthday party for uh, maybe a one year old, and okay. you want to do something like a jungle theme, so I implemented recently a jungle theme where we created a lot of trays uh, with um, chocolates that okay. were shaped of all the animals in the house. Oh. And the trays had all the decorations of all the animals and trees and flowers. So you know to give that entire feel because it's a return gift that you're giving somebody. Yes. And people would really like it to be presentable. Yes. So and then flavors, uh, specializing in a lot of flavors. I have like hundred plus flavors and chocolates, um, and five hundred plus designs as of now. 
How many flavors? Hundred plus. Hundred plus flavors and yes. five hundred plus okay. designs. Yes. So constantly progressing to make new new additions in the catalog. And one is even I can see you also wrote a book. Yes. Again on chocolate. Now you see your chocolates. Yes, and again on chocolate. Yes. Um. So. Uh, this is the book. Yes, this is the book. Again, I I have been writing since childhood, but uh, never again thought of writing a book. I think it needs a lot to do with never thought of certain things, but I've done few things which I never uh, thought I would do. Uh, this is book is another thing. I used to keep writing poems when I was a kid. Uh, I used to write stories, poems, and then eventually when I did this chocolate work, I thought there's a lot of knowledge that you know people should know. At a one-stop place, not that you are googling around and yeah. you know figuring out what to find where. So, okay. um, so this book was a mini encyclopedia for me okay. to share a lot of fun, not just knowledge. The intent was not to just share knowledge, but to also share a lot of fun. Okay. And uh, some myths and facts that people have about chocolates, you know, chocolates are not healthy. Um, they cause etc. etc. A lot of things, a lot of problems they cause. So I wanted to clarify a lot of things of those sorts in the book. So you have uh, shared a lot of your strong areas where you excel and you have you know, almost reached perfection level in life. So I just want to know anything, uh, you still feel that you any area you need to improve? Absolutely, A, there is nothing um, that I believe is a perfection in life because uh, if you think that you are perfect, you have lost the scope of improving further. Yeah. So uh, I think there is still a lot of scope for me to improve, to learn. Um, if you talk about just this field, yes, there is immense ocean kind of things that I can do. Yeah. So uh, definitely there is scope. I would probably say um, if we talk outside of this field, then maybe um, I'm a little emotional person. Okay. So that can be, uh, um, you know, not a negative I would say, but uh, I think it's a strength and a negative both. If yeah. you do not control the way you use it. Yes, the way you use it. Correct. So I think that's the only thing that I can think of right now uh, where there's scope and of course this field has a lot of scope to improve on. Okay, now we'll come uh, to the next level of conversation. We'll talk about the milestones you have achieved so far and what special you did. So first is, how did you begin it? How did I begin it? Um, so well in 2010, I uh, went ahead in attending one basic course of how to make chocolates. Okay. Um, and then in that uh, course I came back home, I was all excited with all the goodies bag of chocolates in my hand and I just wanted to experiment there all. Um, so I did. I started making chocolates on my own, got a lot of uh, raw material stuff that was required. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I just started from there. Um, chocolates came out well. So then I thought maybe you know start selling around in my own apartment, within the family. Yeah. Uh, I started gifting people. People liked it. And right. then I wanted to do something different with it, okay. which is where all these concepts of you know themes began. Did you receive any support for this? Yes, my family. Okay, family support. Yes. Any critics? Um. If so, yes. then how did you react to those critics? I think again, touch wood, I have had critics uh, with my family and my friends because when you're doing all this, you need a lot of honest opinions. And uh, my family and my friends have really, you know, tasted all my chocolates. Whatever I'm uh, making new, they've yeah. it's been like I call them my testers in short, because they've given me all the honest opinions, like you know, the taste is not good, the flavor is not matching up yeah. to what it should be, things like that. And even if I have to implement some ideas, I've got a lot of ideas from them as well that you can go ahead and try and experiment this with your, uh, you know, chocolates in the market where you can reach out to people. So there is a lot of honest opinion that I received from my family and my friends. Because so imagine when I was working uh, with the IT company, uh, I was I was in a habit of taking a lot of chocolates from my team members uh, okay. very regularly. Especially when I was trying something new because they were very fond of chocolates and I love sharing chocolates with people. Um, so I was getting a lot of honest uh, feedback from there as well. Uh, what is working, what is not working. So I. Yeah, thankfully had critics and I have not felt bad because I was sharing A because that gave me happiness that you know people are enjoying it. B um, I used to get honest feedback. So I was I was not taken aback really with that. Okay. So we'll come to the good part of this interview. What was the best moment in your career? Best moment in my career, which one? This one or the job? 
Any? I mean, I should you should share about this. I think for this, the recent one, like I said, the uh, medal that they achieved, yes, that was the biggest achievement because since the time I was doing this, I really wanted to, you know, achieve something in the career. See, financial is the one thing that is that is like implicit for every any career that you're doing. Right. But uh, um, I would not even say fame. It is just a satisfaction to yourself that you're being working so hard, and there is an appreciation that you're getting from somebody. Yeah. I was, I was so. So, any point you thought of quitting this profession? As a way, Lala, we are chalni rahe thi ki aap kuch nahi achieve ho rahe. I don't think any time. I think probably agar mujhe koi puchega ki agar tumhe career dobara se restart karna hai, to what do you want to do? I'll probably say jobs. Okay. So, uh, since you have been doing it since 2010, last seven years, how has your life changed in past five years? In last five years, yeah. um, roller coaster because I'm just working. So okay. uh, you know, doing a lot of orders along with job and job also having maybe 14 to 16 hours uh, of work. Yes. Uh, so doing that and this was a little challenging because this is something that I never wanted to leave. Okay. And I cannot say no for this basically. Okay. Uh, and job again that was again my passion at that I mean that time. Yes. Uh, it was my passion as well. Yeah. I always wanted to be with an IT company. Um, so I mean yes. It, the doing both things together was a challenge. Now we'll talk something about your personal life if you allow us. So, apart from this, what's your passion in life? Um, okay, two, three things. So, one is spending time with yourself. Whatever it means, whether it is spending time with family, with friends, uh, you know, talking on phone, meeting people, okay. or music, <laughs> um, dance. Uh, these are my passions right. in my personal life. So spending time with myself can be any of these. And what do you like to eat apart from this? What do I like to eat? I think home cooked food is the primary thing. You like? Yes, uh, light food. I, it's not that I don't like to eat outside, but I just prefer home cooked food. Uh, okay. Whatever my mom cooks, to be precise. Your favorite cuisine? Favorite cuisine? Mm, yeah. No, not favorite cuisine. Maybe multiple dishes I can say across okay. cuisines. So not just one. All right. And favorite TV show? Favorite TV show? Yeah. Um, none as of now. It keeps changing. Movie? Movie. Yes, I actually relate a lot with uh, the movie Jab We Met. Jab I Met. really, really relate a lot with that movie. Yeah. Um, You're that kind of girl? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Always, you know, bubbly, cheerful, happy, yes. joyous, and, and making others happy. Yes. And doing what I want to do, probably. It's not about doing what I want to do. Is is in an arrogant way that I'm saying yeah. that I want to do what I want to do. It's about believing that you should do uh, what you dream about. Okay. It's about. Do you play sport? I used to. Uh, which in my one? College. And which one did you like the most? Um, I used to play cricket and badminton a lot, um, and basketball. Three cricket, of them. badminton, basketball. Yeah, all okay. three, all three of them different. Okay. But I used to play them a lot. And uh, one more thing, uh, if you like to travel, what's your favorite destination? Travel for me is any place where I can go and relax um, okay. and have fun. So mm. there is no destination that I really look at. It's more about having a break and a lot of change. So it looks like you know you are uh, interested in a lot of things together and you just want to remain happy all the time. <laughs> now you have to tell me one thing. Yeah. What are your routine habits? How do you start your day and what do you do during the daytime and when, when do you sleep? Um, we want to see, you know, the people who are like Jab We Met girl. Uh, I'm not uh, remembering her name, but anyhow, Geet. Geet Jaisi Ladkiya and Sex Smriti bhi hai. So, what do they do in their lives to remain happy all the time? So, I'll actually take a step back, if you allow. Okay. Um, so, it's not about being happy all the time because um, I think sabki life mein journey aisi hoti hai ki ups and downs hote hote hai. Hmm. So, um, khush rehna chahiye. But under बहुत चीजें होती हैं जो लोगों की जर्नी में आती हैं उसको आप आउटसाइड वर्ल्ड को ना शो करें वो बेटर होता है मतलब यू शेयर आई एम नॉट सेंग दू डोंट शेयर आउटसाइड जिस डोंट गेट इन टू योर सोप एंड सैड स्टोरी अपनी फैमिली एंड फ्रेंड्स में जिनके साथ कम्फर्टेबल हो आप शेयर करो बिकॉज दैट इज हाउ यू विल रेली वेंट आउट योर सिस्टम बट वो तो ऑप्शन डाउन से नहीं सबकी लाइफ में तो आप कैसे हाउ डू स्टार्ट योर डे I start my day with um, 
Uh, so don't laugh really. I'm going to keep it very natural. Okay. I start my day early with Good Morning God. Okay. That is something that I learned in my school. Mm. Uh, I was in a Christian school and they had taught me, uh, all of us actually, that when you get up and when you sleep, you should always say good morning, thank you, and sleep, say good night, and thank you. Okay. So that is how my day starts. And after that, the chai with mom dad. Um, that's the kickstart. Um, and then chai ke baad exercise yoga. Okay. Um, that is the major thing. Um, so that's the morning time. After that, back to work. Um, how do you plan the day? What are the things that are uh, requiring immediate attention? Yeah. Uh, there is a planning, chalti hai, phir calls, chalti hai, hmm. uh, meetings, chalti hai, going and meeting people, uh, you know, networking or events, or there, kuch bhi ho so that is a typical day. Evening, mein, I prefer I go out for a walk. Uh, morning, evening, any day, whatever schedule is, I have to do. Okay. Hai. You get time to go for a Yes, if I go. I mean, I prefer ki at least avoid now. एक दो दिन हो जाए वीक में जो के बट बाकी टाइम में आई प्रेफर की इफ यू शुड बी अ रेगुलर वॉकर एट लीस्ट यस ऐसा नहीं किया तो किया नहीं किया नहीं वन और टू डेज वन और टू डेज वीक में हो जाए तो बस शेड्यूल में नहीं फिट होता है दैट इज ओके बट अदरवाइज थोड़ी सी आई थिंक बचपन से हैबिट रही है कि योगा एंड वॉक आर इंपॉर्टेंट तो जितना उसको आप अपने लाइफ स्टाइल में रख सकते हो फिट रहने के लिए तो एंड देन आई थिंक मोर देन फिटनेस एक वो अलग से एनर्जी आती है पॉजिटिव एनर्जी बहुत आती है कीप्स यू फ्रेश सो वो इवनिंग में वो रहता है देन शाम को डिनर के साथ थोड़ा सा टी विद फैमिली देन यस बैक टू माई रूम एंड देन डूइंग सम मोर वर्क एंड देन ऑफ एवरेज टाइम आई गेट अप अर्ली आई गेट अप बाई सिक्स इन दॉर्निंग फाइव थर्टी सिक्स के बीच में एनी टाइम एंड रात को आई डोंट प्रेफर स्टे वेरी लेट अन दिस इट्स एन इवेंट और एज ए फंक्शन मे बी टेन थर्टी ऑन एन एवरेज दैट्स दी टिपिकल टाइम And early dinner, and no late dinners. So, who all are there in your family? My parents, my younger brother, and uh, his wife. Okay. Yes. All right. So, do you spend quality time with your family? Absolutely. Because that's very important, and and that's also one of the reasons people are succeeding well in life. For me, family is uh, the all foundation and the pillar. Sorry. My family is my foundation and my pillar. So without them, I cannot really run. I if I if I don't spend time with them, it's like having no fuel inside me. Okay. So I I try to spend. हाँ कभी कभी नहीं होता है जब बहुत सारा हो जाता है पायलट तो नहीं होता है कभी कभी. But at least every day I make sure you know at least a घंटा तो होना चाहिए. Definitely. तो वो तो I make sure. Are you married? No, I'm not. Any plans to get married? No, right now. <laughs> Then you're married with your chocolates. Yes, that's the second phase of my life. Already, all your time life. towards chocolates. That's my second phase of my life. Acha, uh, you already shared that your family members supported you during this journey. But as a bit of a work, you found a critic in your very close relation, maybe in, in your family or close friends or close relatives. How many have criticized you? Or you didn't ever expect that this is such a thing? As a work. Not in chocolates. ऐसे तो नहीं हुआ चॉकलेट्स में तो नहीं हुआ है पर्सनल लाइफ में हुआ है विद सम पीपल यू नॉट एक्सपेक्ट कि यू नो ऐसे भी कुछ बोल सकते हैं पर्सनल लाइफ में हुआ है नॉट विद चॉकलेट्स ओके सो स्मृति दिस वॉज अबाउट योर पर्सनल लाइफ एंड नाउ वी वुड लाइक टू नो वट आर यू फ्यूचर प्लान वेड यू वॉन्ट टू गो हेड फ्रॉम दिस फ्यूचर प्लान One is attending a lot of events, participating in a lot of exhibitions. Mm. So basically, going a lot of outdoors. Like okay. recently, uh, there was a very uh, big event that was organized with all the women entrepreneurs uh, in Kolkata. Okay. So I was the official guest sponsor for that. Okay. Uh, a lot of celebrities who have brought in from Mumbai, from mm. Delhi. Mm. So you know, personally going and meeting them, handing over the uh, hampers. So that okay. was quite an experience. So doing something like this, you know, as much as I get an opportunity to, so doing something like this. Uh, in the long run, maybe not right now immediately, but in the long run, having my own cafe okay. where I can keep a lot of chocolates, a lot of desserts, okay. uh, a little uh, not just all sweets, maybe some something spicy, Italian, Indian combinations. कुछ ऐसा है कि you know you are still left with achieving something in life. कुछ ऐसा dream हो that यार ये तो करना ही है और अभी रहेगी. एक चीज़ है जो मैं already अभी थोड़ा सा शुरू किया है कुछ सालों से but उसको थोड़ा सा और बढ़ाना चाहती हूँ इज बींग इन्वॉल्व विद एन एन जी ओके दैट इज समथिंग विच 
अगेन गिव्स अ लॉट ऑफ हैप्पीनेस जो एक्चुअल इनर जॉय इनर पीस होती है ना वो दूसरों को हैप्पीनेस देके मिलती है तो वो एक एनजीओ माइंड में है जिनके साथ मैं थोड़ा टाइम से अभी आई एम बीइंग पार्ट ऑफ पार्ट विद देम सो आई वांट टू कंटिन्यू डूइंग दैट आई थिंक बस कोई है और दो सोशल सर्विसेज ओके वन मोर थिंग एंड शॉर्ट व्हाट्स योर अल्टीमेट मिशन ऑफ लाइफ अल्टीमेट मिशन ऑफ लाइफ इज वेरी सिंपल um be happy there go there going to be sad moments yes okay. everybody has it so but still try and be happy as much as you can believe in god and have faith and love your family love your people around all creatures around you and matter not just people if there is love everything is sorted that is what i mean and you like helping other people yes i like you said you already said you are working with an ngo yes i try to i mean Uh, so, it's what if we give you a chance to help others? I would definitely do that. So, our next section is uh, mm-hmm. somewhere we have to contribute to the people. Mm-hmm. So, you can share your experiences. You can share what you have learned in this journey with people who who would like to opt into this profession and how they can succeed in this profession. So, first question is, what is the success mantra of life? Success mantra is to keep trying. Um, failures are nothing. Will be determined. So keep trying. That is your success mantra. Have new goals. Have new missions. Accomplish them. Pick another one. Don't stop. That's the mantra. Good. And how to know if someone is living his dreams or is following his passion? How can one identify this? I would say um, it's hard to identify, but if somebody is genuinely happy, not just at the face of being happy. Then you can say probably that person is doing some something of something what he likes, what he loves to do. And one more thing, uh, you have spent almost seven years in this profession. So somebody who wants to enter this domain, what difficulty or challenges will he face in in this area? Any legal formalities are required to yes. make these chocolates, or you need to add so many flavors to become popular. What's that? I think to become popular, it is marketing. Uh, so, if you just want to become popular, it is only marketing. Okay. If you really want to do well in your field um, and differently, then yes, it require, requires a lot of uh, willpower, a lot of research, okay. and a lot of innovation that you need to do. Any uh, complications that arise in this profession? What are the challenges people normally face? So for me, it was getting the kind of raw material that I okay. wanted, which was aligning to my theme of having designs okay. and themes. One is raw material. Raw material, yes. Procuring the raw material is important. Okay. I mean, procuring, yes, you can go to any market and buy raw material, yeah. but what suits your okay. brand is the oh. more more important part. Alright. So that was one challenge. Second is, of course, yes, how much to invest. That Our is strength. that is the biggest challenge that you know at least I am facing and I will always face. I think. Size of investment. Yes. So what should be the size of investment? Roughly, I am not asking how much did you invest in general. I think it is. With how much amount? Can this is something person to person, individually. People will probably want to, and you know, people who really have a lot of money to invest will just go ahead and invest. Still, from as low as fifty thousand, one lakh, five lakhs. I think a lakh is lakh. really the bare minimum to begin with. We can start. At least we can get a kick start, and then. There is a lot of legal formalities. And there is no limit, obviously. There is no. Reaching growth has no limits and investment also has no limits. But with one lakh rupees, at least you can start. You can get the raw material. You can get your legal things done, the licensing, etc. So basic things. And it requires some uh, like F F S F F S S A I O also. Yes. All the products required. Yes. Okay. That's important. Very important because it's food. So the hygiene and the care yeah. is really important. Yes. No, it's not just the flavor. Yes. <laughs> it's the okay. It's the expiry as well. Yeah, of course. So, what's the shelf life of these chocolates? Ah, uh, it varies from 15 days to couple of months. I will make the process faster. Okay. And what does that mean? We'll have a rapid fire round. Okay. So, I'll be asking back to back questions. You'll have to answer them in less than one second. All right, that's quite tricky. <laughs> try. I'll try. Success or learning? Learning. Your self belief. Faith. Define yourself in one line. One line. Yeah. Um, passionate, caring, loving, emotional, hardworking, very hardworking. Okay. Now in one word. You should have told me you have this question in line. <laughs> in one word, um, 
I think passion. How do you measure life? Measure life with how you've progressed in various important fields, whether it is career, whether it is personal. Um, yeah. So. By growth and happiness. Growth, growth and happiness. And how to overcome fear of failure? Fear of failure, um, very difficult. It, it doesn't come easily, and I think you just need to keep trying how to overcome if there is any failure. If you are scared of it, let it be. There is no harm in being scared of anything okay. in life. But uh, keep trying, be calm, and I'm sure if you have faith, you will be able to cross it. Overcome. And how to remove mental barriers from mind? On a lighter note, maybe something motivational, inspirational, okay. spiritual, meditation. Okay. Should we be perfect or action oriented? Nothing in life is perfect. Nothing in life is stationary. So uh, action oriented. What if someone uh, is not succeeding in life? So what's the point? What's the time to quit? I think one should never quit. Um, it's not good to be a quitter in life. Probably change the course of action. If okay. you've tried enough, you feel that you've given the maximum that you had to <laughs> and still you're not succeeding, there are only two options. Either you change the course of action, try another route or the other thing is even after that if you're not able to, then maybe it's not meant for you at that particular time. It will come okay. back. If it's meant okay. for you, it will come back. What should you do? Never Is risk necessary? I mean, oh, can't we play safe, we enjoy our lives? Why take all this burden and build an empire out of it? Why? I think risks are important. How many risks you want to take is uh, individualistic people, whatever they want to feel, how many risks they want to take is person to person, but mm. risks are important. If you keep playing very safe, life will become very stagnant and dull. Um, mm. So, and I think as it is life will, as it is through a lot of things on you which will give you a lot of excitement with the mm. low portions of your life. So since life is already throwing so many low portions along with positives, why not have some more risks to it and make it happen? But it's important, otherwise you will not grow and learn. And uh, still, what's the biggest barrier to success? Is it age, knowledge, money, idea, what? Or something else? Maybe some of it, maybe all of it, but ideally and typically it will be you yourself. If there is a value. That's the right answer, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> okay, should we be ambitious or should we be contented? Contentment. Contentment is very important in life for whatever you do. Uh, ambition will follow you. It will fall in place on its own if you are content with what you are doing. Okay. We will design uh, chocolates in more than 500 themes and then you have got 100 plus flavors. So what, how about if, you know, if I invite you to design recipe of success? <laughs> okay, <laughs> alright, recipe of success. Yeah, um, that, that success looks chocolatey. Okay, I think in portions I have answered that, but if you need to sum up something as a recipe of success, um, learn from your mistakes, yeah. do not feel let down, I've made a mistake, there's something wrong that I've done, learn from it, because that is how you will grow. Somebody who's not making a mistake or is scared of, uh, you know, failures yeah. will not grow beyond the point. Okay. So that is one thing. The other thing is the softer part of life, which is uh, passion, your uh, love, energy, positive energy. Yeah. The these softer aspects are very important in anything that you want to succeed in. Materialistic portion is always a default for our lives, whether it is you know investment, financials, but hard work. Um, ideas, innovations, a lot of research, a combination of all of it and yes, your uh, close ones being around you for that support. That's the success will happen. So that's the recipe. Any message to the people who are viewing this video? Message is live life fully. Um, and again, like I just said, don't be scared of anything. It's very easy to say, honestly. I am also very scared <laughs> almost every day. There are things that will make you scared. Yeah. So it's very easy to say that don't be scared. But yeah, try as much as you can not to be scared. Uh, be more open towards positive positivity. Um, trying things out. Keep trying. That's the most important thing. So never give up. Keep trying. Uh, let go all the negative portions. Again, like I said, very easily, I'm just talking about it, but the actual implementation is not very easy, yes. Okay. 
Thank you so much for coming to the show. I wish you, you all the best. May your chocolates become popular worldwide and Thank you, you sell in so much quantity that you can't even manage all these things. I wish you massive Thank success you. for Thank that. Thank you so much. That's like the one of the best wishes that you can give me right now. Thank you so much. I need a small favor from you. Sure. See, I've started a series called Dreams Never Die. It's for the people who have got a lot of hidden potential inside but they are not achieving success they deserved due to either circumstances or could be any of the reasons. So the idea is to inspire these people mm. and I am showcasing the journey of people who have already succeeded in their lives plus uh, they also have the potential to inspire them. They are not celebrities but yes I believe they are not less than celebrities. Mm. You are one of those. So uh, just let me know, give me your honest feedback or opinion say something about this concept called dreams never die okay so Mohit uh, I will probably start from you know what you are doing before we move on to dreams etc so what you are doing is actually an excellent concept um, it's a nice uh, innovation that you've put forward because I don't see a lot of people around who really think like that about people yeah. so it's definitely a wonderful opportunity that you're providing to everyone and um, you know people like us who are yes not celebrities but uh, they want to you know probably pass on some important messages to people so um, that's a very brilliant idea that you're working on and I really really honestly from my heart wish that you achieve loads of success in this and your intent and mission you know happens that the audience understands and um, gets a lot of more confidence to move ahead with what they want to a lot of people will probably not be able to move ahead with some constraints, um, etc, etc problems. So maybe have some more confidence and motivation viewing all this that you're trying to build up. Thank you so much. Yes. Thanks a lot. Thanks for coming to this show. Thank you so much. Wish you all the best once again. Thank you for calling Hi, so we just spoke to Smriti Bhatia who is an author and who is a chocolatier, what she calls herself. So we got to know her success story and I hope you were also reach the acme of success you will get inspired by her story how she started it and where she has reached so it's worth inspiring and i personally believe that it is going to help you pursue your dreams follow your passion because dreams never die thank you